inside the stove, you'll notice that I have the uh, damper, sorry, the baffle there, and above it, I put some paper towel when I start a fire, right close to the flue so that I can start a draft. I'll light that one on fire first, which goes up the draft or the flue immediately, and then I'll light this and it'll follow it up. Um, I still have to stack wood on this. Big whoosh. Yeah. See the smoke coming out the top? Oh. That started nicely. I lit the paper towel up there first to start the draft up the flue, which I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but it was making quite a bit of noise. And these logs took off. They're really dry. I'll shut that since it's smoking out the front. All right, I've only had it going a few minutes. Here's a heat gun. The snow out here is about 27 degrees. I'm guessing it's about 30, 32 degrees out here. This has been running for about five minutes or so. You can see we're in the orange. I typically like to run it up closer to the red. This should be the hottest part of the stove. This is in Fahrenheit. Oh, how hot is it? The flu, that's about 800 degrees. Whoa! Flu, 600. Ooh, you can see the smoke coming off. See the smoke? Yeah. Do you smell it? That's why, yeah. you, that's why we need to do this now. So this intake back here is 110 degrees. I can touch that. I don't want to. But the wall itself is a couple hundred. So, right now this is taking in air and it's keeping that cool. I have everything wide open right now. 400 back there. The fire's not back here, the fire's right here. This is the hottest spot right here. 900! <laughs> 911 is the record. Front door, a couple hundred. This wood's wet because of the snow. Actually, all of it is. But there's some drier pieces. put all the stack on and the wind is hitting it right now I can see it rocking it solid down here though before that would twist and turn right here um, but it's all locked in now I wanted to put the whole stack on though to see uh, how it would do in the wind there's not much wind out here though
Jiminy's in the red. Now, I just want to see how hot things are. About the same. This is Fahrenheit. I don't know what that we're equal in Celsius, but going out toward the flu, it looks like it is a little hotter. Eight, nine hundred. Corner of the flu, nine forty. About a foot up, eight sixty. We're smoking up here. I can see the paint smoking. Seven hundred. Second stack, six hundred. Our air intake. 200 but right above it 360 I can see the discoloration of the paint there should be baking in now 4 the sake of heating this up I'm going to shut this and right now we're about 210 ish I'm going to give that a few minutes and see if it heats up. I need that to bake in too. This is a cool shot. Just see the flames shooting right up around the baffle. Right up. It's been uh, about an hour or so. This has been burning since I last shut off the camera. I had to send the camera inside to charge. When I shut this off, this whole uh, air vent mechanism heats up probably within about 100 degrees of whatever this is. When it's open, it's about a couple hundred degrees cooler than that. It's still hot. Right now that's about 700 degrees and that's about 5, 710 and 400 something. Um, the stove overall is about the same temperature as it was. This hasn't moved. I have seen this rock just a little bit with the wind. Um, normally the stove jack in the tent is like right in this range somewhere. It one it, it kind of helps hold it, but I'm glad I built anchors to hold this in high winds because in high winds it can still move. Feels nice, it's getting cold outside. I would guess that it's in the 20s right now. With the wind blowing, it feels colder than that. I thought this interesting. You can see the coals burning right through the quarter inch holes that I have in there. They're nice and hot right next to the air vent there. I might, uh, later after this is all cooled down and everything, I might uh, drill those holes out. So instead of being a quarter inch, maybe they're three eighths, a little bit bigger. I have enough of those holes, so I don't know that it'll increase the airflow too much. Who knows? I'm just letting it burn down now. I have the log on the left and the one in the back that are burning. And then just a bunch of coal cinders. Those are what I want to break down with those air vents though back there. I want that to, this is having a hard time focusing. I want those to break down so that I can push in full logs. We'll see though. I gotta give it some time. Before it gets too dark, I thought I'd come out and see where we're at. I choked off the stove on the front. I left the back open, and we're still burning clean up there. I say burning. I don't think there's any actual flames in there right now. We're still hot back here, though. I can feel the heat coming off of this. But the stove is cooling down. We're in the yellow zone now. 
which in a 16 by 20 tent we're starting to cool down at that point there's heat coming off of it but you see how much I've choked down the front and it's just burning in the back this is where I'm hoping the rear air intakes are going to help break down that wood back there I'll let this settle for quite a while probably another couple of hours and we'll see where that ends up my camera doesn't do so hot in the dark but I just opened this up pushed some of the embers back but it's still glowing back there and those are breaking down um, before I'd have big chunks maybe like a quarter of the log left so that secondary air may be helping there. I'm going to let it sit some more and see how it goes. Just came out. I'm going to move this stove closer to the house. I'm going to take most of the stack off. Let these burn out overnight. Probably in another couple of hours. Um, I can put my hand in there now. There's barely any heat coming off of them. But those secondary air holes appear to have done the trick. Those, it's uh, small pieces back there now, which is what I was wanting. 